So, uh, something unexpected happened. We have a My Hero Academia spin-off special chapter, Endeavor's Mission. And I'm going to do a quick review of this chapter right after this intro. Hey guys, how's it going? It is your boy, Monkey Man Drew, and today I wanted to do a quick review of My Hero Academia special spin-off, Endeavor's Mission, a special one-shot. Most likely, we have this in commemoration of the third movie of My Hero Academia coming out, I believe, on the 6th in Japan. So, coming out this week. So, that's most likely the reason why we have this one shot. And I decided I wanted to do a quick review of it because it's actually very interesting. And it kind of ties into, most likely, what's going to be going, to be going down in the new My Hero Academia World's Mission movie. So before we get more into the review, I'd like to ask you, if you haven't done so, to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you'd like to see me do more reviews on other manga, other one-shots, even other uh, spin-off tie-in series for My Hero Academia, leave your thoughts in the comments down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel so that I will know that you like this type of content. And without the way, let's get right into the review. So we actually start the chapter off with them announcing what this chapter is going to be about. My Hero Academia, special spin-off Endeavor's Mission, where to sum up what goes on in this chapter Todoroki, Shoto, Deku fight Endeavor so that they can get permission to be a part of this specific mission across the world basically this is what starts off most likely the movie where we're immediately going to jump to them already being a part of the team so we're kind of getting the prerequisites for them actually being a part of it as we have a few individuals from the world heroes association come in and basically explain to deku bakugo and shoto uh with endeavor about how if they're able to lay one single hit on endeavor within three minutes then they are capable of joining the mission and if they can then they won't be allowed to and that they will stay home which is something very interesting that all of them are prepared for and as well as these uh two uh goons or technically three goons are testing them because they need a lot of heroes so it's going to be very cool in this chapter also we do have a little note that says these events takes place shortly before the events of the world heroes mission film so you know these won't be in the films but it's just something interesting to know how they got a part of it that it wasn't just by dumb luck or just because they're a part of endeavors hero agency they actually proved themselves to be uh useful for the mission so we're going to see that in this chapter so yeah after the uh people tell them about what they need to do and they start off this timer we have all the characters doing what they do best doing what they're efficient at where you have deku who's planning and thinks about what he needs to do to attack endeavor so he begins sneaking around you have bakugo who goes for the full frontal attack and tries to use an explosion on him unfortunately endeavor doesn't allow it and blasts him with fire and throughout this entire chapter for the most part they aren't holding back they are heading at endeavor with full force as we also see shoto using his eyes to almost attack Endeavor, but Endeavor is able to use his fire to block it. And as this is all happening, Deku comes up behind them as we have Shoto who does his thing. It's somewhat acting first, but also having a plan in the background showing that he did all of this so that he would have an opening for Deku where Deku tries to go in for a sneak attack, but unfortunately Endeavor uses his flames to push them back. As we have these two uh, men in black S characters thinking to themselves about how Endeavor isn't holding back and how he's overpowering them and how they only have two minutes remaining and how because they're fighting the number one hero in Japan he's showing why he's a number one hero and that the only way that they could possibly hurt him is if they all attack at once but Endeavor just blows them all away with the fire and these men in black people are like oh yeah that's to be expected he didn't hold back it's fine yeah, it's okay. They only have a minute left, but they probably won't make it. But Endeavor's like, no, don't underestimate these kids. Because we have a saying that we took from the West uh, that we use a lot over here. So 
here's what it is as we see all of the kids, Bakugo, Deku, and Shoto yelling plus ultra because as they did this, now they're able to land hits on Endeavor. Bakugo uses an explosion as he rockets himself into the air and slams Endeavor in the back and Endeavor is taken aback by this as we have Shoto coming in with his own fire attack and Endeavor where he's like, not bad. But then we have Deku with a surprise punch to the gut of Endeavor with a smash as the men in black are shocked and it's time's up. So yes, all of them qualified for the mission by landing a single hit on Endeavor and we have them all reacting in their stereotypical, most expected way. Bakugo being mad that he couldn't take down Endeavor. Shoto uh, realizing that he still needs to control his fire a little bit more. And Deku being a nerd and recording how he was able to attack Endeavor and how this situation would be different if it was the actual villain as Endeavor's like, uh, it doesn't matter, you pat. So without the way, we have work ahead of us. As we have the men in black people once again coming in, it's like, okay, before we do anything else, we're gonna have uh, some high uh, suit. But then we have these men in black guys come in and say, yep, you're a part of the team, but we need you to have specific suits meant for stealth. So we're going to create some for you. And what is very interesting about this is that the next few pages are just comedy. And I just love it. We have Deku who's getting very excited about, oh my gosh, I'm going to get a new suit. I wonder if I could have a cape on it. Like, oh my, no, 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 I can't do that. As Bakugo gets mad and is chastising Deku about, you don't need capes on a stealth mission. Which is very ironic because Shoto realizes that he already has a design for his and how his gauntlets are even more detailed. So it's funny. He insults Deku for Kate, but he's planning on going on a stealth mission with big hulking gauntlets. And Shoto's thinking that he probably needs longer arms for his design, which could lead into uh, Shoto's new design, I'm pretty sure of. As we get the end of this chapter about how this overseas mission going through Deku's head, how he's going to face a lot of heroes and a lot of villains. And that they're going to run into them in the chapter as we get the line that says it's going to continue in my hero academia the movie world heroes mission end of chapter so yeah uh overall i think this is a very interesting chapter and even though it wasn't directly written by hirokoshi you can see his influence on this entire uh one shot uh, not necessarily through the drawings, but through how the characters react with each other, how they're able to defeat Endeavor, quote unquote, or at least lend a hit on him, how people have doubt in their abilities, but just the use of plus ultra shows that, yeah, they are capable, they are capable heroes, and that they're going to be very, very, very needed in this mission, which leads and ties into the actual mission. So it's fun that we get to see just an entire chapter of the heroes just doing action scenes, being action heavy, as well as having a few comedy sprinkled towards the end, showing a little bit more levity after this big hero bash. So overall, this one shot was really amazing. I really did enjoy it. It is just almost peak My Hero Academia when it comes to Hirokoshi's writing and his story, and I can't wait for the movie to actually come out, but I'm gonna have to wait a little bit longer because unfortunately, I am not in Japan, so I cannot see it, so I have to wait for it to come out. So hopefully you enjoyed this chapter, this one shot on Shonen Jump, and if you did, leave a like on this video, leave thoughts on what you thought of this one shot, I thought it was really cool, and I would like to see a little bit more of these one shots later on down the line, as well as subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that bell to be notified for whenever I upload more content like this as well as leave a like on the video do all that cool jazz and hopefully i'll be able to catch you in my next video goodbye huh.